So my youngest son, my four year old, absolutely cannot run out of energy, has a ton of energy. And so I'm gonna be trying to put a rock wall inside of his room that even on those days that it's raining, he can have something inside of his room that's sort of kind of safe. And it's a place where he can get his energy out, use his muscles, kind of wear him down, keep him busy. So of course you're gonna have to, uh, you know, measure the size that you want for the wall space that you have. We have about a six by six foot square that we want to do. We're going to be placing it above his bed and so that if he falls, he falls onto his bed. And so hopefully that will kind of save him. And we don't have to use, you know, a, a cushion underneath and take up more of the floor space. I've got four two by fours that are six foot long. I'll be using this plywood over here. It's about half inch pressed board. So I'll be using this. I'm gonna be laying out my two by fours and I'll be putting this over it. And this is where it's gonna actually have the foot and, and handhold um, into it. So we'll get started. Oh, well, come here. One, two, one. Hey buddy, I'm building your rock wall. You come in and check it out. You gonna get in it? Hang on, ready? All right. You ready? It's gonna be fast. It's gonna be fast. <laughs> Ready? Hang on. There you go. Ready? So I just started out here by painting everything kind of a flat gray going to try to replicate kind of the color of the sky in the background just like a, a dull gray kind of gets a little bit bluer here as we as it darkens and dries um, so I use the tape for the mountain range and just sort of uh, different layers so I started with kind of the sky color and then I just use kind of different shades of gray to uh, simulate the the mountain range in the background As I went down, I sort of started to go with um, some greener tones until it was very green. And then those were simulating, you know, the rolling hills of the mountains and the, and the more vegetation and more trees as you go down to lower elevations. I'm not really much of an artist, but honestly, this was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, just using the tape and the fact that uh, I just kind of kept it pretty simple. I didn't go too wild. I really feel like it, it turned out pretty good. I think uh, it's kind of way optional on what kind of colors you like to use. You can kind of make this and blend this into any kind of color pattern that you need to for you know your kids' room if you want to stick with specific colors. I kind of went with the natural earth tones just because that's, that's personally what I like, but I think you can pretty much get away with just about anything. So here I am painting the uh, rolling hills. I'm gonna be painting uh, some trees on it as well. Uh, here I am trying to find the right size for the sun. I wanted to have a nice uh, orange sun over here. So it just basically made a circle and then painted it orange. And then I put a little bit of dab some white in there to kind of give it a little bit of character. So I had never drawn trees before and so I just looked up a YouTube tutorial about um, some brush strokes and how people you know make these uh, kind of pine trees that you'll find sort of in the higher elevation states out west to kind of go with my mountain theme so I just basically drew a line a vertical line up and down for the size of the tree and then I made small brush strokes that weren't very wide at the top and they just got wider as I went down to make some triangular uh, little pine trees there and I didn't go crazy just a few to add a little bit of character now here it was the most difficult part because I had to lay these out and I wanted them to be kind of spaced out uh, pretty evenly but I also had to worry about, you know, he's a little guy, he's four years old, so he can't, he doesn't have a lot of reach, so I had to put a lot of holds. Uh, if you're making this for an adult, obviously you don't put this many holds, but because it's going to be primarily used by a small kid, I had to put quite a few holds in it. So it was pretty uh, time consuming. I had to drill, you know, 
each foothold takes two bolts and so I have to drill the bolts first and then you have to uh, tighten them up and so I spent some time here to kind of lay out everything and I didn't want all the blues on one side and all the yellows on one side I kind of wanted them to somewhat alternate so I kind of took some time to make sure that happened it's like 90 degrees this day too by the way so you notice I'm sweating like crazy had to stop a few times get a little glass of ice cold sweet tea I just about saved my life there Um, so here we are putting it up and it wasn't too bad basically I just put uh, drywall screws uh, through 2 by 4s and I ran them vertical and then I just screwed in the uh, boards onto that horizontally and uh, you know I caught a stud and at least two of the uh, 2x4s for the backing so that I have plenty of structural stability um, and the drywall screws of course they're, they're pretty structurally sound so uh, it can hold quite a bit of weight. I'm 220 pounds and I have been on it numerous times and it's held me so so it's pretty strong. Look, look at that. What is that? What do you think of that, dude? You want me to hold your sucker? What do you think? You know how that works? Okay. You do? You want The other kids seem to absolutely love it, as you can see. They took no time at all to climb on it, so... All in all, it was a fun project, and it was a lot of fun to build. If you enjoyed this video, of course, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more, we would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. Take care and have a wonderful day.